Welcome back to Mimi's Quest and another of my DIY wedding tutorials. For this one I'm going to be showing you how to make the little Bombonary recipe books that we designed for our country themed wedding. The wedding recipe books were such a personal gift from myself to my guests. It contained all of the recipes that had been handed down from my grandparents, my parents, um, just recipes that my mum had cooked us while we were kids. I'd also asked my new husband's family to provide some of their family recipes that they were willing to share. And then these recipes I made into some tiny books that I gave to my guests as Bombonary. I would love to have one to be able to show you right now. However, we had none left after the wedding. I'd actually made probably about 20 extra and we gave one recipe book to one partner of the couple and then the other one we gave a little box with some purple Hershey's Kisses. However, the 20 spare that I'd made, I'd actually had people coming up to me on the night requesting if we had any more, if they could have them. So I'll have one to show you after the end of this tutorial, but I will insert a photo here of what they look like. So just to keep on the, the recipe theme, for my bridal shower, instead of asking for gifts, I actually asked people to bring a recipe that meant a lot to them that they were willing to share. And that recipe I've kept hold of and I've been able to just use with my family, you know, learn new things to cook, enjoy being in the kitchen and just cooking something that means a lot to someone that I love. So it just, it tied in well. Originally I was going to use these recipes to then give to everybody else. However, I thought it would have a lot more meaning if I use, just use the recipes that were important to me to give to the guests of our wedding. They were gorgeous. They were so simple to do. I think in the end they probably cost me $15 because I just used a printer, I used some paper that I'd gotten from a local um, paper store. It was such a simple easy project. So I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you after. Okay, so I'm going to share with you my screen just so I can show you how we made the recipe books um, on our computers. So to be honest, I actually had Steve do this for me because I'm not very computer savvy, but we just did it in Publisher and created this um, little sort of eight um, columned document. And in here, I just typed all of the recipes that I wanted to include in the recipe book to end with a, just a little header. Um, or a cover page down the bottom on the right. So this is how we did it. It was sort of, um, it was pretty easy once Steve set it up for me. Um, as I said, I, I'm not too savvy with this stuff. So we had these little cut lines down the bottom, um, which made it easier when we we're using the guillotine. So I'm sure there's plenty of uh, YouTube tutorials on using Publisher if you're not too sure how to do it. So first up, you just need some sort of paper cutter. So you can use either one of those big old fashioned guillotines or here I've got a paper cutter that I bought just from our local craft store. And using the guidelines, um, basically just cut the little pages out. So it's very simple and easy to do. Obviously you've got to be a little bit careful to try and not chop off some of the words, which when I was um, getting a little bit tired at night when we were doing it, I did chop off some and had to reprint a few because nothing worse than getting only, you know, parts of a recipe. But this was quite easy, this part. So once you have all of those chopped up, um, just pop them all together and that's, you've only got one more cut to do and basically you've finished cutting your book. So, um, yeah, nice and, and quick. If you need to trim up any of the corners or the the um, 
like the side parts that's what the little pen knife was for just makes it a little bit easier and a little bit neater just if, in case like with this one here my little cutter thing was starting to get a bit blunt by the end of it so I had to just use the pen knife just to tidy up things a little bit okay so here we've got our little book and our hole punch and our paper fasteners so just make a really small hole up in the top left hand corner and uh, pop the paper fastener in if you can pick them up with long nails I don't think my nails were very long when I was doing this so it was certainly a lot easier and then just open up the back of the paper fastener and that's pretty much it so as you can see I've still got to tidy up the bottom there so I'll just get my little um, paper cutter out again just to neaten the bottom but when you're doing a lot of these if you're going to use them for bombonaria or even just gifts for, for whatever else you're using them for um, it does become a bit of a production line so it's nice and quick I did most of these in one afternoon and that's it that's the little recipe books so something cute and from your heart for your guests <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll try and get back to you. Thank you.